What's up guys, Casual FM here, back in the second season with Kilmarnock, which I believe is our third season in this save. Yeah it is, so if we look at the finances quickly, um, after the end of the season we um, had 200k in the black and I've now managed to get us to 3.9 through some player sales and <laughs> an absolute load of <laughs> cop games and friendlies just because we need the, the cash if I'm honest but the looks of it we spend way too much money um, on this like match day expenses and our gate receipts don't even like bring in the money and the TV revenue over here is absolutely appalling like it's not even worth taking part um, club vision is going great <laughs> I've already repaired the club finances already so you know what that means like they're not going to sack me. We're working within the budget. We're playing good football. Uh, this end brings me to the transfers. Uh, we've signed two players. Um, that's it. Well, we've signed more. We've signed Walker, obviously, um, on a free. Um, and to be fair, I've just bought him in because of the value that I'm hoping to then sell him on if he plays. we got got Bashi of Humphreys on loan again. Um uh, me boy Josh Pask from Cov, just because he can play this right back and in the middle, um, and we're signing the Darnell Johnson if he ever goes, and then Teddy Jenks to replace Alan Power, um, he's on loan at the moment, and then on the out list we've only we've only like lost this much, not too bad. Carl Canali's gone out on loan just because he's not ready yet. Aaron McGon, he's gone out just because he's not getting played. Um, Where's? Oh, it's not on it. But Alan Power has left, by the way, guys. Just it's just not on there for some reason. And the rest are just like nobody's. I was just trying to move some of the wage budget, which we are now operating perfectly in. So we actually look good for once. Um, as you can see, Kenny Nicole is now the the key player at the club, and he's also the captain. Just because I'm trying to keep him here. Um, if you have a look at the squad. The team's actually playing really, really well. So much that if we have a look, we're fifth at the moment. Uh, but we could push for first. Could you know we're doing all right? I think realistically we could aim for fifth this year and get into that Europa League too, which will be good to bring some money in. Uh, we're actually into the uh, uh, quarterfinals of the Betfred Cup, uh, which is also good for us because it means. We need that money because we're bringing the money in. Um, I think I finally got them to allow me to do a new coaching match. Um, and attribute wise, you know, I, look, I still look rubbish, but I've got a good win percentage now. And they won't give me a new contract, but it's fine. It is what it is. So if we go into the game. Um. Yeah, so the transfers are actually bought in. Um, <laughs> don't get play. Um, you know, it's a bit of that silliness that I did transfers in, like, March, April, maybe I think it was March of the last season, and bought in the high arm because he's such a good player. Like, I've had him on saves before, um, except he just doesn't fit in the team. Like, as in, I've got better players now. And with that golden generation, he just doesn't look good. Like, he's a great alternative. So, he's there um, as a backup now, which is annoying. And then I bought in, uh, obviously, Pask, who again, um, I haven't really seen much of him. But it's fine, because obviously we're playing a lot of friendlies to try uh, balance the money that we're currently splashing out, paying for, like, I don't even know what we're paying, but they're, they've absolutely ruined their finances. I'm, I'm not sure if we'll ever... <laughs> ever save this club I'm trying to build it back up until like 10 15 million in the bank and see how we get like because I'd like to be able to compete with Rangers and Celtic but realistically I don't know if it will even be possible with the way the um the team seems to be ran with the maintenance on like, the maintenance on the stadium is more than we bring in from the gate like, I'm not really sure how um like 
I'm gonna have to have a look into that and see if that's something that could be like changed or something. But the maintenance is like a lot. Um, they're coming. Not really much happened so far. Twenty one minutes in, we've had the uh, you know more shots, but it's not by many. Hamilton Army, all right. <laughs> no, 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 not rubbish. <laughs> they're rubbish. So we should really um, play well against them. But obviously, we've only played the good teams. We played um Celtic, in which they scored a ninety fourth minute equaliser um, which I was very frustrated at and glad that it was wasn't on record for the uh, PG-ness of the video um, well that would have been a great goal there um, and we've played some other good teams but nobody a lot we haven't played Rangers yet or anybody I think we beat St Johnston who were up there um, it's a bit of a rubbish game isn't it We'll absolutely thrash them at half time if they don't sort this out because this is embarrassing. Uh, we also brought in uh, a 19 year old from Juventus just because I wanted to say I had a 19 year old from Juventus. Um, signed him for free, um, pay him £700 a week, and he, he just sits in the reserves, just hopefully building up. He's eventually going to replace. Uh, Kilty if he ever gets good so Campus got the ball here and Tispolo has now got it Campus is going down the bar looking to oh my god it's that catch 22 like if I put it onto attacking are we going to open ourselves up too much because it's not like they're not having their chances like they've got the oh my god he's just absolutely sent to spur I'm going to wait and see what happens here so Bruce has got the ball and he plays it back to campus and we look to build with Tuspolo through the middle Thompson on a booking passes to McKay and the ball goes out to Bruce on the wipe Jens has now got it and he's played it to Smith the other player who is now able to run but Rogers, who has been in incredible form um, has showed us again why he is the number one keeper i did try find a keeper but with no way like budget no wage budget whatsoever to move it was kind of impossible um so i'm, try I'm just going to make the best of it and that'll be my main goal for next season or january if i can get some money uh oh, they've done it again that smith is lurking he's like a they've played the ball to who oh Right then. Right. So Hasty here, who sounds like a pasty, has played the ball to Tem up. So I just want to cry. So we're not gonna I'm not gonna look at the next replay. We're gonna go attacking. We're gonna abs. Oh, I can't do anything. With you know, there's a lot of games left in the season. Um, and I feel like if we were to be first and second, it'd be too, um, it would be too much of progress too fast. Like I, I want to build while I'm here. Like I want to try win the Europa two and like stuff like that while we we're still here because longevity will be the the main goal with being with Kilmarnock because I feel like if we can build them the way I'd like to each year with all of these like friendlies and keep putting money in the bank, we'll eventually have um, like money to spend and be able to bring in some players like Celtic have bought in uh, Bergwijn from Tottenham like for 9 million like how have they managed to get that and he's on 30k a week okay which is our whole entire wage budget but they've managed to bring in such a class player for zero pounds really it's fair to say we've probably lost this game um, and I'm, I'm a bit peed if I'm honest uh, they still had less XG than us. Uh, that's just not really sure what to say. I'm going to demand more. There's no point. It's final time. I'm going to absolutely bollock them. Uh, yeah, yeah, you beat them I don't care. Uh, they could be the motivated set if they want. Um, just because we were unbeaten and now we've just lost. So... I'm annoyed, but if we have a look at the schedule, we were doing really well in the league and the stuff, so yeah, that's really, really annoying. Um, 
God's sake, like, why did I have to go do that? Right, guys, um, see you in the next episode, which I'm unsure of where we'll come back. Um, I think it will most likely be this Betfred quarterfinal and maybe maybe these two games here, the St. Johnston doubleheader, might be there. And in a hope for us to get to the semi-final, just because if we, I'd like to get to the final really for the finance, just for the money. If we have a look at club information, club vision this year, you know the next thing we need to work on is this Scottish Cup, because um, I would really like the money, but there's not that much money. In this either. Oh man, there's no, there's like no prize money whatsoever in this league. Let's just have a look at. What is this? Look how much money you get for. <laughs> oh, I need that money. Uh, with the contract, they don't want to give me a contract, so. I'm trying not to cry about it, but I am upset inside. Right, hopefully we'll be back with a few more wins. I don't know how many games there are. One, two, yeah, hopefully we'll have a few wins. Maybe I'll bring you the, the Rangers and the St. Johnston game. That might be a better idea. Right, see ya.